right, first of all, before we actually dive into this, um, this is as much for me as for you guys. What were your biggest takeaways? Could you go up to the mic? Uh, we, I'm not going to do the catch box thing because the room's big and it takes me all the drag. Leg's still a little sore. <laughs> but there's mics right there. If you guys wouldn't mind, I would love to know what the biggest takeaway with Jazz uh, yesterday was. You like just one? Noises you make. I've just kind of made fun of them, but I realized, because Tony R. Robbins always talks about staying in a top state. Yeah. And I'm like, that's how you do it. Like, you're doing stuff, you're like, whoo, ah. And I, I think your energy drops to an eight and a half, and you're like, whoo, oh, baby. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sitting there going, that's his process to stay at a 10. Because, like, by the end last night, I was like, dude, let's go another four hours. Because I'm starting to do that, you know? Grab the boot strings. That's a science. It's beautiful. I love it. The intensity. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, right before this, I, uh, I always jump on the trampoline, I listen to some very friendly rap, and then I uh, do a lot of push-ups on the knuckles, and that's like my routine every time I get on. Yeah, Over here, please. I think my biggest takeaway was the idea that you aren't really marketing until you know what red ocean you're pulling your customers from. That's yeah. just profound. That's a big deal. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <clears throat> over here. Good morning. Good morning. I absolutely love the part where you said know how to repel people as much as retract, attract them in the funnel and your design and your message. So um, I love that. Thank you. You know what? It's interesting is like my email list, there's a lot of people that will go and they, they remove people from their email list kind of routinely. I don't do that. I just get more aggressive with the messaging and let them opt out. <laughs> That's kind of how I run it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Over here, please. Uh, hey, Steve. Hey. Dominic Wallace here, Birmingham, Alabama. Um, the most profound thing is you don't forget the money is on the back end and where the evergreen is. Don't forget. Oh, where so, I get paid. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so even though you're breaking even in the beginning, don't forget to get them on the back end. That's that, what I took. That's awesome. Thank you very, very much. Brad was awesome, right? <laughs> Teaching how to pull cash from the business like that. I'll tell you, most, most people who've been like, who exist in this space and actually make a full career out of it, that's how they do it. Otherwise, you don't get paid for a long time. What's up? Hey. So for me, I think the biggest thing was the lost art, I think is what you called it, of campaigns. Um, mm. And because I've built the funnels, I've built sexy offers, <laughs> and then like <clears throat> we launch it, start running traffic to it, and it's like crickets. But then like the one or, few, one or two people like pop, and they're like, this is amazing. And I'm like, I oh, know, how come no one's buying it? Oh, because we didn't do a campaign. Yeah. So, like, campaigns is where, where it all starts. So. Such a big deal. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it, Mitch. What's up? Over here. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I went through, I, I got a chance to meet you uh, in the One Funnel Away Challenge, <laughs> and what I realized yesterday was the waste of time educating cold traffic in my industry uh, and, and also being hyper-focused on where to find the traffic that's already been educated mm. so you could do the tap and the putt. Yeah, Just tap it in. Yeah, little, yeah, right? Thank you very much. Yeah, that's huge, right? Because then you're not, you're not responsible for, like Shark Tank was saying, millions of dollars to educate the market in order to buy. Big moment. And I also wanted to thank you on a separate note. Uh, you're an, an awesome example of what it is to choose to live your life on your terms. And the fact that you took the leap from this cool job yeah. to now doing what you're doing and having such a huge influence, you mot motivated me to do the same. Thank you, sir. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good came for you. Over on this side, how are you? Good, how are you this morning? I'm good. Voice is a little sore, won't lie. <clears throat> I bet, after all. But I'm good. Yeah, so my biggest takeaway, I'm an MLM, and my biggest takeaway was your portion about the dream customer, mm. because for me, I hadn't really focused on what that was. And I love people and I love serving people. And so I want to see everyone empowered and everyone served. So it really was a pivotal shift for me to kind of figure out how I can structure my dream customer so that I can still accomplish those things on my heart, but that I will have set up systems to do that. So thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for bringing that up. You know, I remember for a while, it was like, I was trying to serve everybody and do all these things. And it was exhausting. Yeah. And, and I remember after a while, like completely burnt out. And I would go on Saturdays 
into ClickFunnels to work on my own stuff a lot too. Right. And Russell came in one day and I was like, oh crap, you know, is he going to be mad? You know, I'm working on my own stuff here. And he walks in, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, you know, just answering messages for six hours. Yeah. And he goes, uh, hey, let me give you a little trick. This is like wisdom passed down forever. You don't have to answer them. <laughs> and I was like, but, and he goes, I know, right? I have the same little, uh, because you want to help everybody. And he's that same way. And I, I totally get it. But getting clarity on who you want, it actually saves you as much as your business. Right. Thank you. Absolutely. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Very good. I'm, I'm Mark from Atlanta. I have a question and I want to share my takeaway. So my takeaway, my biggest takeaway from yesterday is that you pull from the red ocean, but you create your own blue ocean. Mm -hmm. So that was a big one for me. And the question that I have is you talked about the story of when you created your first funnel. And it was weeks or months later that you started making some money because you said you saw the $7 cha-ching and then the 99 <laughs> and the 297 But you never explained what happened. Like, why was there a gap? Oh, because there's no campaign. So it just no automatically knows. one day? It's like me building something amazing. And then, but it was in the middle of a desert with no roads to it. Okay. You know what I mean? I hadn't built the highway. I hadn't put a sign up. I hadn't, there was no noise or pressure put around the fact that something was amazing in the middle of the desert. Right. So did you start to drive traffic to it later? And that's why you started to get sales? No, people or just started running into it. Okay. It was okay. literally organic. That's how those first sales came in. I was like, how did you find this? Because I was, I, I messaged him back. I was like, hey, where, where did you come from? <laughs> right. So I was trying to figure out how he bought and just stumbled on it. Okay. All right. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you're in line, we'll have these be the last ones. Sound good? Awesome. Let's come over here. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Great. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Thanks for everything, man. Yeah. Um, so I really enjoyed when Dana was talking about selling the thing that sells the thing. Mm. And um, that was big for me, and especially in the context of a downsell, mm. right? So if they're not ready for the thing, downsell them into the thing that sells the thing. Right. And uh, I think for anybody selling anything high ticket, that's, that's big. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, huge. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. <clears throat> Over here, please. Okay. So Neil Linares from Nampa, Idaho. It's good to see you. And uh, good to see you, Steve. And uh, the first time I, I saw you was in the first time that uh, One Funnel Away came out. Mm -hmm. And I swear I still want to buy the fake book. <laughs> Anyone go buy the fake um, book? I've heard it's really good. He's like a yeah. PhD and he's like this really successful writer and I've still never read it and I'm nervous he's going to reach out one day and be like, hey. <laughs> so the, the, the whole concept behind the way that you delivered that story is what really has pulled me in um, cool. hardcore. So I wrote a book about alcoholism. Mm. And it's my story. And this month, I, I have 10 years of sobriety. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. my biggest takeaway, Steve, from yesterday was that all those negatives, all those negatives, all that um, struggle, mm. I can flip it and I can use it to help others. And uh, that's my biggest takeaway, and I'm inspired to do that with, with this trajectory that I have. So thank you. <laughs> so cool. Thank you, Neil. Thank you very much. It's awesome. How's it going? Kirk, how you doing? Mike Tompkins. Hey. How you doing? Good. So, like, my three takeaways were I am not the funnel. Yeah. Oh. That's a bit of a slap, isn't it? I try to orchestrate it so it feels like a hit, so we're all like, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely got that. The next one was uh, Sneezer. Sneezer. I'm like, oh, wow, there's Sneezers out there, and I can like purposely attract those to my offers and different things. Mm -hmm. And I got another one, but I just want to like compliment your huge and enormous amount of energy. Like, I get it, and like, I have it too, so it's like, yes. And I think when I do events, I might start edging them down instead of one o'clock in the morning. Maybe I might, I might do nine o'clock and follow you too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Awesome. Thank you, Kirk. Appreciate that. Thank you. Last one over here. Thank you. Microphone's a little tall for me. Um, first, thank you and thank everybody. Um, it was a great event. Uh, one of the things that I've fallen in love with in the past eight months or so is studying markets and like your curiosity of studying markets and um, like how much you love to do it and like I feed right off of that and I love it 
my biggest takeaway is actually um, not something you said specifically about like, um, or something specific from yesterday, but it's what I do based on what you teach. Every time you ask a poll question, hey, who here uses Twitter? I'm looking around, like that's market research. And so like, that's my biggest takeaway. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I don't you. use Twitter that much either though, so that's probably why not many of you guys do. You, you really do attract the people who are yeah. But like with anything, you, you when, as soon as you ask a question, that's market data. I look around, I'm like, all right, 10 hands are up, so like, you know, less than 2%, you know? <laughs> yeah. just, you know, it's just. <laughs> Thank you very much. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. First off, thank you. Like everyone else has been thanking you, but, it, but seriously, this is probably the best event I've ever been to. Um, <laughs> tons, thank you. That tons of detail. I love it. Um, my biggest takeaway for sure is just you have to collect your customers before you can create them. Mm. Um, and it blows my mind that ClickFunnels even has been collecting this entire time until One Funnel Away came out, which was what, December last year? Hundreds of millions of dollars later. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the creation forever. That's, I'm, I'm going to go to collecting instead of creating. <laughs> Way easier. That's yeah. awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Appreciate it. Hey, Steve. Chuck from Cleveland. How you hey, doing? Good. Hey, my biggest takeaway was that uh, I want to thank Russell Brunson for kicking your butt about publishing. Mm. Because without the publishing that you finally decided to do, we wouldn't be sitting here no, no, and, and the campaigns happening. were crazy last night about and it seems like it's like a lost little forgotten point like in one funnel away you just mention it you got to go publish but that's such the magnitude of expert secrets and all that you wouldn't be standing here without him kicking your butt on that so it's true we appreciate my him. dad or russell ah, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> thank you hey steve hey thank you so much for this event yeah. uh um i'm um John Molsage, I'm from Seattle, and uh, the biggest takeaway for me was that I need to step up and take action and um, take a risk. Um, so just like Yvonne was saying, I'm listening to my heart, not my brain right now. Yes. Kind of outside my comfort zone. That's good. Welcome. I, You're in a I, safe I, place. <laughs> so I'm on kind of a big, big mission, and I, the, I'm getting up here to reach out and because uh, I need some help doing what I'm doing. Is it okay if I ask for it? From sure, we have a room full of entrepreneurs that I, I'm sure can help me. Um, basically, I find myself in a position where, um, in this stage of my life, I have a bunch of um, classes for two and four day defensive handgun classes at uh, Front Sight Firearms Training Institute in Nevada, and I want to give away a million of those two days, um, and that's in exchange for the email. So I'm doing that on the squeeze page. But then what I want, wanted to do is offer everyone here um, the four day, if you would review my funnel and help me um, do all that. It's at patriotsfordefense.com. Sweet. And uh, I, I need help with programming. You and, saw my and gun all that ad, kind of right? I'm, yeah, I'm all about it. Awesome, man. Tell me when to come. That's, that's great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> that's very it's cool. patriotsfordefense.com. Love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks so much.